It's Wednesday, April 16th, 2024, and we are in the deconstruction of the old world. We are in the breakdown of all that was, and in deconstruction and in breakdown and in the doing away and the falling away and the dying away of the old, there is grief, there is tumultuousness, there is chaos, there is people screaming and yelling and confusion and wondering what's going on and, and fear and doubt and a lot of grief and a lot of um, just in, in all different ways, the human response is to try to catch it from falling. But we know that we cannot catch it from falling. We must let it deconstruct and, and all the more surrender into that deconstruction, into that surrender, into that beautiful passing away. The old is passing away. Behold, the new has come. And the new is the promise of a glorious, higher, dimensional, part of our soul path as humanity. And so the numbers are being added of the souls who are moving away from fear, moving away from the grief of allowing the old to pass away and moving into the accelerated power of the flow into the new, into that faith and that trust of what is coming for humanity, for the earth. And we could go down the list of all the things that are falling away like dominoes. And even as I look at the financial system, it is one domino after another, after another, that is falling away. And the timing of it is unclear. We could see major blows to the financial system from 20 things I could think of right now off the top of my head. Major things from U.S. treasuries to Japan's currency crashing and other currencies crashing and the commercial real estate markets. And I could go on and on. Just It's just endless, the endless dominoes that are falling and the cracks that are widening and the foundations that are crumbling. The thing is that will we scurry to get underneath this these foundations and to hold them up and I think of Samson and I think of those in the old mind because Samson's hair was the thing that he prided himself in because that's what his strength was and in the old age that mindset was what prided that era in those old mindsets the covering but now we are moving into a new mind-heart connection, a new mind-heart ascension, and it comes on the humbling path of the destruction of the old world. And those that are embracing and allowing and realizing that this must pass away are the ones who are ascending, not without soul path authenticity, not without the path in the soul into the kingdom of God not without that one cannot happen without the other and we do it for ourselves and for God who is within us the divine who is in us we serve the light and we do it for our children and we do it for our ancestors and we do it for all humanity and this is the difference in the new mindset which is saying goodbye to the old mindset of, you know, whether that be in religion or in banking or in corporatism or in nationalism that says, me first, I'm getting to the front of the line, I'm getting to heaven, and I will stomp over you to get there, and you will be in hell, or you will be lower than me, and you will be a class beneath me. No, we do it for all humanity, and what we do affects all humanity and affects the whole. We are inseparable. We are one in this unified field of love. And that is God's heart. 
call it the central sun, call it the heart of God, call it the um, universal field of love, whatever you want to call it. You'd see God speaks a universal language of love. God is law, the universal law of love and the universal law of one. And no matter the words we use, as long as we speak in that realm of heaven, we speak the word of God. This word that creates as it is spoken into existence. In religion, I believe the word of God to be a text, a Bible, but that mindset is part of that old that is crumbling. And not that we don't take the lessons of the old and we don't take the soul path work that was done in the old mindsets. We do. And that has created a place for us to bring us to where we are on our path now. And it has catapulted us into where we are now. Even the darkness, even the shadows that we see now through those mindsets. They, they bring us through the path into the kingdom. They bring us through the path that casts a shadow so that light may be received, so that we may come into the light and serve the light and receive the light, which is already in us, just to acknowledge it, because we must acknowledge truth in order to receive that light and for its potential to its potential energy to create what is coming, to be those co-creators, to be those intercessors. It must happen in and through us. It cannot just be a concept which we preach to others, but it is a path which we journey personally, but for the collective. It's beautiful. It's powerful. But the financial system is the main focus now it is crumbling it is falling away the forest it is dying and many will scream and grieve and mourn and i find myself in that and yet the promise of a world that does not live for self does not live for corporatism does not live for survival does not live for greed does not live for me first is the promise of what is to come as we move into this new age. And many things will fall away. Many things created by the world systems of the old mind, of the old age. We cannot let go of one and keep the others. We have to let go of them all. And it is a great doing away. And it is being accelerated by the powers and the energies that are coming into and through us right now, it is being accelerated with great power and great speed, with great grace to do what we cannot do um, in our own human strength. That power is becoming readily available to us. We will see great suddenness. We will see great miracles. Miracles will become a daily occurrence. Wonders and signs will become a daily occurrence to us. Um, we won't have to wait to tell someone a testimony. It will just flow out of our daily life. And we will receive the kingdom through our path. And so our mindset is inverting where we, we once believed we had to prove that we could bring the kingdom to others. Whereas now, as we journey the path within, we receive the kingdom through all, through all things that touch our lives, through every situation and every person we, we encounter and every, all things around us, all things in our sphere of influence bring us the kingdom. And so through that, as the kingdom is brought to us through our journey, we alchemize and we ascend and the, the journey brings us the kingdom. And when the kingdom comes to us that way, we are journeying into God's heart through those energies and through that power. And that power continually ripples out into eternity, touching everything, everything. 
this is faith. This is spiritual law. And this is the place that we are going. This is the realm, the dimensions to which we are heading. But the old must pass away. That is the bottom line. The old must pass away. And as long as we try to hold on to the old, we cannot be that conduit. We cannot be that vessel through which the new is birthed, is emanated, is brought through to humanity. And that's okay. There's no judgment for that. We just choose the path we're going to take. I don't want to live in survival anymore. I don't want to live in uh, striving anymore. I don't want to live in an eye for an eye anymore. I don't want to live in duality anymore. I don't want to live in having to prove myself to God, to others, to myself, and to humanity anymore. I want to come into my true identity, my core identity, my essence, which is this divine, this divine power, this divine presence, this divine love this divine law. And as I rest and I meditate and I fall back into that and I surrender into that true identity and I know myself and through that path, I venture through shadows. Undoubtedly, I venture through shadows. And as I venture through those shadows, those are the stops I make where I repent and repentance comes in a million ways. But I turn through that enlightenment that is given to me. I turn and my path takes on a new trajectory as I surrender into my true essence, which is the presence, the power, the love of God, the perfection of perfect law, the perfect law of love, the perfect law of oneness. And souls are awakening to this and coming together and arising and letting go of the old, for the old must pass away. Living from the ego, living from the, the identities to which we knew ourselves and others knew us in this world, those masks, those characters that have to prove themselves we are letting them go we are surrendering we are acknowledging and we are being healed and we are alchemizing those shadows that energy that surrender upon the fire And we are rising like the eagle, like the phoenix, out of the ashes of surrender. And fear is dissipating. It is not finding a place in us like it used to. And we are surrendering to love and oneness and hope. And these promises for humanity. And so, and I have deliberately tried not to mention anything astrological on this video, but we have moved into a new phase and a new realm has opened to us in this recent time. And great powers is coming in and through us. And it is important as a vessel to be a sobered vessel, um, to be a self-aware vessel, to be a vessel that is moving in authenticity, in self-awareness, in our inner journey. Um, because densities can, will, hardness of heart, densities, hardness of mind, pride, you know, all the stuff will prevent the movement of that energy will prevent the movement of that power but the the tenderness that comes on those shadowy corners of our path that brings the the softness of heart propels us forward 
propels us and advances us in the kingdom. And then that power moves through us effortlessly. We strive not. We strive not. We know wisdom in this path. We know love in this path. We move in love in this path. We we walk on streets of gold. We live in the realms of heaven. We 